When we look at China specifically, what we're seeing is that China is going to remain a top concern when it comes to cyber threats. Their stealthy tactics are depriving defenders of indicators and straightforward detection opportunities. So, for example, they're using operational relay box networks or orb networks to mask their traffic. They're also relying heavily and will continue to do so in 2025 on zero to exploitation. And a lot of the techniques that they're using, like living off the land, are going to deprive us of even more IOCs by blending in with legitimate processes. Another thing we're going to see from China in 2025 is more leveraging supply chain itself. So they are going to be targeting one to get access to many, whether this is telecom or other areas of the software supply chain. We're also seeing a heightened aggression and risk tolerance from some China-based groups. When we look at Russia going into 2025, we see them really focused on the invasion of Ukraine. We expect to see more focus on mobile devices. We're seeing Ukrainian soldiers' smartphones and tablets being used, and this is going to continue. A lot of that close access capability and targeting of industrial control systems, that activity we think is going to continue in 2025, in particular the support to the battlefield itself. What we expect to see from North Korea in 2025 is more of the cryptocurrency focus driven by the economic need. We're going to see them targeting cryptocurrency organizations continuously, and they're going to continue to run ransomware and extortion operations. A lot of the targeting that we expect to see is on those critical services like healthcare, which compels victims to pay. Another scheme that we think North Korea is going to continue to do in 2025 is by raising funds through IT workers. They're going to continue in 2025 to use stolen identities to secure high paying software development jobs, posing a significant cyber security risk. For Iran in 2025, we expect to see activist personas who are taking credit for more disruptive activity than they actually have conducted in order to raise the fear factor. That's something that we've seen from Iranian actors in this last year that we think will continue. In 2025, we expect to see a lot more activity with Iran and mobile malware. The use of mobile malware being disguised, for example, as legitimate apps, that's going to become a prominent tactic in targeting Israeli individuals, especially as the conflict between Hamas, Israel, and Hezbollah widens in the region.